boy Never Surrender. Doing a Q&A video today, I'm going to be eating ramen noodles. This is a spicy ramen noodle challenge. They're different to the ones I had last time. I'm not sure if they're spicier or not than the other ones. They don't have a skull wheel level on it, so I'm not too sure. But we're going to cook these up right now and then start answering some questions. Let's get into the video. Let's do it. Alright guys, we're back. We cooked up the noodles. They're ready to go. It smells deadly as fuck. <laughs> Ali's here, he's, he's gonna be chilling with us while we answer some questions. People have been asking me questions on Twitter, uh, Discord, and um, just on, on my YouTube videos, just in the comment section. So I'm gonna check out those real quick. Uh, we're gonna answer some uh, questions on Discord first. The first one is from Meg1.0, aka Delton. He said, what game slash movie genre do you like the most besides horror? The other movie genre besides horror would probably just be thriller or comedy. Um, what other game? I like pretty much um, any decent role playing games. Pretty much, I'll go for any, I'll play fucking Hello Kitty's Island Adventure if it's decent, you know what I mean? But I'm gonna eat a spoon, I'm gonna eat like noodles in between questions, that's how I'm gonna do it. Let's get into this, I haven't even actually tried this yet. It smells really fucking messed up. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh. I can't really remember what the last one's tastes like. I do. Oh. They gave me the hiccup straight away, like it just did. Oh, ah, uh, cool. Mike Bell on Discord says, favorite skate trick. <laughs> favorite skate trick, that would be probably a, um, a fakey 360 flip. Or just a regular 360 flip, whatever. I love seeing 360 flips done with style. Jesus Christ! <laughs> These don't taste as good as the other one. Really? The other ones didn't even have taste. What do you mean? It's spicy. Kangaroo on Discord says, Have you tried drugs? Uh, pretty much when I was. 16 to 18, tried most things except for heroin. Smoked a lot of weed, all the basic shit that 16 year old fucking skaters do, I guess. Um, yeah man, I, don't do, I haven't done drugs in a long time. Next question, Nashi on Discord says, do you think of Meg, brackets Delton, as a sur Surrender Squad family member, a friend, or just an annoyance? <laughs> because it seems like the last option, but I'm not sure. Delton, we give him a lot of shit during the streams. Um, but he's a good guy. Yeah, we don't actually think he's annoying. I mean, he is annoying, but he, he's a surrender squad family member, that's for sure. Right, I'm gonna take another bite of this. Mm. Oh, okay. Jelly Tip on Discord says, what would you do without YouTube slash Twitch? Well, I've never streamed on Twitch yet, so um, I'm gonna be streaming soon on Twitch. Uh, YouTube, I only started YouTube this year in January on Australia Day. If I wasn't doing YouTube, I'd probably just do what I'm doing now. I work full time already. After work, I used to just go to the gym or go to the pub. Now I don't have time to do that, so I just go straight from work to here and start streaming most days. So that's pretty much what I do. I just, yeah, have more time in the afternoons, probably watch movies and play video games like I used to do anyway. Bait Vixen says, what or whom was your inspiration to become a YouTuber? Definitely a big inspiration was Laughing Hyena on YouTube. Well, he's now a Twitch streamer, but he, I used to watch him religiously on uh, YouTube. Fantastic horror streamer. Big F13 fan like myself. Unfortunately, he got banned one night when I was watching him. Uh, or he got suspended. He got the three month suspension on YouTube. We won't go into details, but we're watching a movie. So he moved to Twitch pretty much that week. And I didn't really, uh, I didn't really know about, or I didn't know how to use Twitch. So I just didn't follow him there, unfortunately. But yeah, he was definitely an inspiration. And then also during the um, Friday the 13th beta, which was Christmas time last year. I met a lot of people, a lot of streamers, and they were really cool people, and they got me into, they said, you know, man, you should start streaming, you should do all this. I played the beta on my 55 inch TV. I didn't, I used the, cat. my keyboard was on my lap. I used the couch as the mouse pad. I didn't have a monitor or a desk or a computer chair, so I had to kick back on the couch and play the beta. I used the controller, not keyboard and mouse, during the beta. I would never go back to using a controller on F13 anymore. <laughs> it's just fucking hard, it's not hard, but, 
It's just annoying shifting and shit with the controller. But yeah, pretty much the F13 beta and laughing are uh, two big inspirations for me to start streaming. Next question, well, well hang on, let me eat some noodles first. Mmm. Oh. This hurts, man. Alright. Uh, favorite band? Uh, that would have to be a day to remember, for sure. That was from Trevor McCartney, sorry. Uh, Tank says, if you were dead for a day, what's the one perk or feature you would add to Friday the 13th the game? That would definitely be more character customization. One thing I would love to see in the game would be uh, the spear gun. The spear gun, as you can see, the spear gun would be absolutely badass. If Jason spawns in, say he has to find the spear gun first. It'll spawn in different random locations around the map. Jason would have to take time to morph these locations. It would be a one hit kill. A very long range kill too. To say if you saw one like counselor escaping on the boat, being selfish, not taking anyone with him, and you were a Savini or a Jason who was bad in the water, you would just be like, you know what, fuck this guy, pull out the spear gun from the side of the beach, like on the beach or some shit, and just long shot him straight to the head. How satisfying that would be to one shot kill him while he's taken off on the boat. Looking like that, perfect pose, it would be amazing, I would love to see it in the game. Uh, hopefully the devs can add that in, that would be fantastic. Alright, next question, Meg 2.0, which is Natalia, she says, What is your dream job slash dream place to live? My dream place to live would definitely be, what are those Disney suburbs called? Oh, Golden Oak. Golden Oak? It's like a Disney suburb in California? No, it's in Walt Disney World. It's in Walt Disney World? Yeah. Alright, so it's in it's Florida. In the, yeah, it's in Florida. Yeah, Golden Oak Disney property in Florida yeah. at the Disney World Resort. It's like a suburb, it looks like a normal suburb, but it's all Disney property. That would be amazing. Oh, my dog oh. just knocked the camera. <laughs> That's my dream place to live. Dream job would be just to make a living off streaming, gaming, um, being in the community, stuff like that. Let's eat some noodles and we'll answer the next question. My dog is going crazy. I don't know if I can, I shouldn't have done two packets, man. Not as hard as last time. TA Fred says, who let the dogs out? L says, would you pick me up from the airport and show me around if I ever come to visit Australia? Uh, depends what airport you come into, man, because I'm in the shithole of Australia, so don't ever come here. Next question. Raven Killer says, how many dicks have you sucked in the last 24 hours? <laughs> What is your fondest gaming memory as a child? Says Miss Miss. Fondest gaming memory would definitely be it was my birthday. Xbox, uh, I can't remember what. I would have been 11. Wait, when did Xbox come out? The original one. Don't know. Anyway, Halo 1 just came out and it was my birthday. Mom set up the TV and the Xbox with. Uh, she set up the Xbox in the garage. We had a sleepover. And we played Halo, played through the whole game, co-op, it was fucking amazing. And then I had a waterbed, and then after that we started, because I was big into wrestling, <laughs> I did a suplex on my mate <laughs> on the waterbed and it burst and it flooded my whole room. And luckily the Xbox was in the garage, so it didn't get wet, so that's cool. But that was definitely my fondest gaming memory as a child, getting an Xbox for the first time and being like, this is the future. Sabrina says, what's your home address and phone number? Uh, 707 Meridian Avenue, South Pasadena is my home address and my phone number is 1-800-GO-FUCK-YOURSELF L on Discord says, are you a virgin? Yes. Cool says, what do you do for a living? Uh, I'm a third year HVAC mechanic or in layman's terms I fix refrigeration. Anything to do with refrigeration and air conditioning. Let me eat some noodles before I answer the next question. Oh, this is beautiful. Thanos says, do you ever feel down during or before streaming? Do you still power through and get it done? Yeah. I feel as though this happens to pretty much every streamer. There'll be days where you don't really feel up to streaming uh, or talking or really... Because with streaming you have to, you pretty much... 
if you want to get anywhere, you have to be interactive, which means you have to be talking to your chat, you have to be talking to the people who are watching you, um, which is a good thing. Um, but some days, you just, you know, those days where you just don't feel like doing anything, you don't feel like talking. You gotta try and keep up your schedule, so you just get power through it anyway, and just get it done. Usually, halfway by the end of it, you, you're glad you did it, and um, yeah. Did you play any sports when you were younger, slash in high school? Believe it or not, I played footy, rugby league, uh, when I was in grade nine, I think. And then I played volleyball. <laughs> that was about grade nine as well. Uh, when, how did I go from rugby league to volleyball? Don't ask, I have no idea. And then pretty much I've skated since I was like about 10 years old. So skateboarding is pretty much the only sport that I stuck with. Uh, next question, Miss Miss says, can you add a short photo montage of your baby slash preschool pics? I want to see baby surrender. Um. Maybe. I have one baby pic of me. I can't really think. L Cookie 666 I probably butchered your name, my dude. I'm sorry. What was your first video game? First video game, that's the hard one. I probably can't remember exactly what my first video game was. Pokemon Red was probably one of my first ones that I can remember that I enjoyed. Uh, any game on the PlayStation 1, like Spyro, Croc, Legend of Gobbos, Medieval. Games like that really stuck with me and I can still remember remember playing and whatnot. I had a Sega Genesis. I can't remember what games I played on that though. But yeah, probably something on the Sega, man. How many Playboy magazines did you have back in the day? How many do you have now? Do you still bang on them? Bang on, what? Do you bang on them? Do I still bang on them? I don't know anyone who bangs on magazines, my dude. Um, I didn't have any Playboy magazines. I don't think I've ever jerked off to a magazine. I've got a Playboy upstairs. Although, back in the day when we had 56k dial-up connection and downloading pornos was pretty much not gonna happen. <laughs> I probably did jerk off to a few magazines, I guess. When your girlfriend has more Playboy than you. <laughs> Oh, there's on my lips. Not so much of a question, but show us your favorite tattoos. Favorite tattoos, uh, definitely on my neck. I'll get pictures chucked into the uh, video for you. It's easier, so I don't have to, it'll be weird trying to show you on the, on the camera. Meg says, will you ever play GTA 5 again? Uh, for sure, man, I gotta reinstall it. Probably get back in it once I start streaming on Twitch. Puma Cat Run 2 says, when I surrender squad snapbacks coming out very shortly, um, in talks with a few people about getting some uh, snapbacks done. Stay tuned for that. Question from Meg 3.0, which is Diablo. He says, whose voice is more annoying, Meg slash Delton or Pokey Cat's little bitch, which is Diablo? Definitely Delton. I'm sorry, man. Your voice annoys the shit out of me. <laughs> uh, next question. Miss Smith says, how would you describe yourself? Chill, laid back, uh, easy going, I guess. And yeah, that's about it. Let's go into, let's go on the Twitter questions. Let's have a look what we got. Our first Twitter question is, what's your favorite movie and what's your favorite Friday the 13th movie? Favorite Friday the 13th movie would definitely be part four. It used to be part six, but um, yeah, I've decided part four is the movie for me. What's my favorite movie overall? It would have to be uh, A Nightmare on Elm Street, the original one. It's just too fucking good, man. Johnny Depp, you sexy bastard. KillerWolf387 on Twitter says, are you streaming on Twitch and YouTube or just YouTube? Um, I'm gonna be trying to stream on both, my dude. So I originally started on YouTube and uh, now I'm gonna try and do both just because YouTube have been fucking me over with demonetization and whatnot. So we're gonna try we're gonna try the Twitch thing, uh, Twitch thing for a bit. Next question, Tiffany, AJ, or Deborah? Obviously Tiffany, that ass is just too good. Boxes or briefs? Uh, briefs, briefs for sure, 100%. Cody Steinwinder on Twitter says, how many hours do you have clocked in on getting tattooed? Couple hundred hours, you reckon? Yeah, probably. Couple hundred, 150 maybe, I don't know. Flamin' Justin says, would you ever move to California or just USA in general? 100% my dude, like I said before, I wanna move to the uh, Disney property Golden Oaks in Florida. That would be amazing. That's the dream right there. Next question is from Holly Haristo. Aristo, Holly Haristo on Twitter, he says, why do you love horror movies? I love horror movies, I just love being scared. I love just that feeling of, someone trying to scare me. I mean, I don't know, it's just weird. I just, uh, I remember when I was, I was on a houseboat one time with my best friend, 
when I was super young and we just watched Halloween 2, the original, of course, not the Rob Zombie. And then afterwards, we watched Leprechaun as well. <laughs> and then afterwards, uh, I ran, I grabbed a kitchen knife and chased him around the boat with the kitchen knife, to pre pretending to be Michael Myers. I ended up chasing him up to the top floor and then he jumped off into the water because he was fucking freaking out. <laughs> I was obviously not being serious, but he thought I was. It was pretty funny. I just love that kind of shit, it's really awesome. Kathy O'Brien says, do you think you'll ever finish Evil Within games? Yeah, I'm gonna try and get through them um, in the next few weeks, for sure. Let's have some more noodles. Mm. Kelsey Gamble on Twitter says, how many more bananas do you plan on deep throating? Well, Kelsey, it's funny you say that because I have this incredible urge to eat a banana right now. So you're probably wondering what that thing is right there. It's the most advanced, sophisticated piece of potassium supplying technology on the market. I have this incredible urge to deep throat a banana right now, so we're gonna get straight into that. This is a contraption I like to call the Banana Gag of 5000. Uh, I'm gonna pull this string right here and a banana should drop down into the back of my throat. Seems we have a malfunction on the uh, banana gag of 5,000 guys. <laughs> Alright guys, so that was the banana gag of 5,000. It's a fantastic device to uh, eat your bananas. Uh, you gotta get your potassium and nutrients every day. Fuck uh, <laughs> Get that banana out of here. Alright guys, that's all the questions for today. We're gonna finish off these noodles. They're not as spicy as the last ones are. Uh, they don't taste as good though. They taste real bland and shitty, so whatever. We'll finish them up. Hey, how we got it? Mm. Beautiful. Definitely not as spicy as the other ones, but not too bad. Hi right, guys, that's it for the video. Make sure you drop a like if you enjoyed it. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Twitch. Jump in our Discord. Subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in the next video. I love you guys. Bye. Peace.